Nola Jett here in Helen, Georgia at Hop Rowl House Restaurant. Good stuff in here. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Nola Jett. Let the good times roll. If you're looking for what to do in Georgia, join us on this episode of our restaurant review videos as we head to Helen, Georgia to experience German food during an Oktoberfest meal at Hofbrau Haus Restaurant. This is a popular German restaurant during the Helen, Georgia Oktoberfest and they offer a nice selection of German food. Hofbrau Haus Restaurant is located in Helen, Georgia at 9001 North Main Street, which is about 8 hours and 555 miles away from the New Orleans French Quarter. Hofbrau House Restaurant is also right next to Hofbrau Riverfront Hotel, which makes the restaurant very convenient if you're staying there like I am, and we'll have a review of that hotel in the next video, so stay tuned for that. Helen, Georgia is known for having one of the largest celebrations of Oktoberfest in the USA, and Hofbrau House Restaurant definitely offers that Oktoberfest experience here. And here we are walking towards the celebration at the evening time, so... They have some live music playing under that tent and a lot of people having a really good time. Unfortunately, it's jam-packed and I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get a seat out under the tent, so I might have to go inside and sit at the bar, which hey, there's no problem with that either as they've got a really nice bar here as well. The bar here is called the GI Germany Pub and the food at Hofbrau Haus Restaurant is supposed to be similar to that as experienced by U.S. military who were stationed in Bavaria, Germany after World War II. These days we have U.S. military stationed throughout Germany so the Bavarian food experience isn't as universal as it used to be, but I still love it. So the band tonight was not playing a whole lot of traditional German Oktoberfest music. They were doing a lot more American style music, but it was still a good time out there. People seem to be very happy. So they do have a placemat with their name on it, like so many places, and they really do have a great decoration scheme going on in here. So they've taken a lot of trouble to give it a little bit of a Bavarian look inside here, and it certainly is a tidy little place that has a lot of stuff packed inside of it. So you certainly have a lot of good military stuff inside the bar here at the GI Germany Pub. And then they have some nice dining rooms back here that a few people are enjoying. And then right back here they have a huge dining room that they don't seem to have anybody in. As like many places, they're too short staffed to even open up this rear section unfortunately. So we're gonna go look around. There's the door we came in originally, and here's the bathrooms on the left. They have some more intricate decorations in here. It's a nice clock right there, and they've done some nice tile work here as well. So they definitely have a lot of great stuff to see, and this GI Germany pub is quite a nice place as well, and lots of nice beers on tap, so of course, you know, I'm going to be trying some of that later, and of course, we've got a lot of good military stuff there. So let's take a look at the menu now. We have appetizers with escargot, German wings, chicken wings, potato pancakes, pretzel, small or large, Opera House, Brazit Teller, potato skins, little neck clams, soups and salads, freshly prepared soup of the day, goulash, French onion soup, Opera House salad, German cucumber salad. Then we have schnitzels with schnitzel Wiener Art, Wiener schnitzel, chicken schnitzel, ram schnitzel, Dastke schnitzel, Jaeger schnitzel, sandwiches. First, open face prime rib, Opera Hoagie, Reuben sandwich, schnitzel sandwich, and chicken sandwich. Then we have German favorites with Kasselrübchen, Schlachthausplatte, Schweinshaxe, Falscherhasse, Schweinbraten, Schmorbraten, Wurstplatte. Then we have burgers with Mushroom Swiss Burger, House Burger, Black and Blue Burger, and Germinator. Two half pound patties, one knockwurst, one bratwurst, corn, beef, sauerkraut, four slices of cheese, eight slices of bacon. On the next page, we have American favorites, and we can add shrimp to the entree. Six for five dollars, twelve for ten. A twelve-ounce ribeye, a prime rib, butterfly trout, Carolina chicken, chopped steak, 
And then we have a choice of sides with German potato salad, red cabbage, potato pancakes, spatzel, sauerkraut, baked potato, mashed potato, roasted potatoes, roasted carrots, green beans, and fries. Then we have desserts. Add a scoop of ice cream to dessert for $1. We have German apple strudel, German chocolate cake, black forest cake, and brownie. Then we have our beer and wine menu with a selection of German and domestic wines by the glass or bottle. Then we have our beer menu with import draft available in the half liter, liter, or pitcher. We have domestic draft, a 16 ounce or a pitcher. Then we have domestic bottles, import bottles, large and small, and Belgian specialties. So, since I was in Hofbrauhaus restaurant, I got en masse the full liter of the Hofbrauhaus original beer. So far, I've been to the original Hofbrauhaus in Munich and the one in Las Vegas. And this is my third Hofbrauhaus. Prost! Ah. So for my entree, I got the Schmorbraten, which is like the Sauerbraten, but this is much more like a mama used to make a pot roast style. For my sides, I got sauerkraut and red cabbage, and it all looks fantastic. It really smells fantastic, and this gravy looks amazing. I can't wait to dig in. Oh yeah, look at this. That is delicious looking. Ooh, and it smells better than it looks. So, oh yes, this is really fantastic. It's uh, like a really good pot roast. So, doesn't have uh, a lot of the sour flavor like the sour broughton has sometimes, which I like a little edge like that on it. But it's a really good pot roast. So. Certainly, it's not exactly your usual sour broad, and it's much more of a pot roast, but it's still quite delicious, and it's very tender. It's a lot more tender on average than most of the sour broadens I've had in Helen, Georgia. So far, this is definitely uh, one of the better meals I've had in Helen, Georgia so far. I really enjoyed my time over at the Bowdoin Sea restaurant. And right after Bodensi, I'd say Hofbrauhaus House is a very close second place. On any given day, they're probably neck and neck for first. So I'm really, really having a good time here. And it's uh, a large serving of meat here. And it's quite a large helping of the red cabbage and the sauerkraut as well. Each and every bite, very delicious. Lots of flavor, no complaints. This is going to make me a very happy camper. This is a lot of food here, and it's going perfectly with my beer as well. So this certainly is a very pleasant place that I'm quite enjoying all the way around. And every single bite of this delicious meat is so, so good. So, mm, if you're uh, in Helen, Georgia, you probably want to make sure you stop by here because this is certainly a pleasant place and I'm also quite happy they're not trying to force me to buy some liter boot to get a glass serving of a full liter beer. Here, just like Bodensi, they have the full liter Mastrug, so there's no upsell. They just serve it to you the way they're supposed to. And a glass mug that you don't have to buy to use something to get a liter beer. So very happy with Hopper House, Bodensi, and the Heidelberg for having the proper liter size mass crews to serve your drink to you without the upsell. Thank you very much to all three of those. Now this red cabbage is really flavorful. It has some very nice flavors to it. Very much enjoying all of the deliciousness here. Really good flavors in that, and then the sauerkraut also has quite a nice look about it, so let's give this our little first taste here. Ooh, yeah. Oh, very nice sauerkraut. This is very, very flavorful and tasty. I'm very much enjoying it as well. So I'm very happy with both my sauerkraut and the red cabbage. They certainly have been a great complement to the meat. So I have totally destroyed this plate of food with one bite left of the red cabbage. And now, just like I've totally destroyed this plate of food, go ahead and destroy that subscribe button. Give this video a thumbs up. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about this meal. And while you're down there, make sure to check out the link to my Patreon account. I do work for tips, and I appreciate any help with that. So the total for this meal with a 10% military discount was $35.31 before tip. 
So, thanks so much to the bartender and the GI Germany pub that provided me excellent service during my visit to Hofbrau House Restaurant. And thanks so much to all of you out there for tuning into the Knowledge channel, especially to my Patreons. If any of you out there that are hell of experts know where the other restaurants are that serve beer and the full liter Mass Krug without having to buy the Mass Krug before getting a beer in it, please comment below and let me know because I need to learn the other places that do that. And would you kindly go ahead and share this video with any of your friends or contacts that would enjoy it as it really would help me with the YouTube algorithm. My next video will be covering the Hofbrau Riverfront Hotel. So make sure to tune in next time for more good food, good times, and good people. Nolagen here, and thanks so much for watching. And just go ahead and destroy this video right here to keep up with the fun.